Hey everyone, this is Afaq from Full Stack Networker. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the major use cases for network automation with NetDevOps. Be right back. Welcome back. As we know, CLI was created for humans and is optimized for manual interaction where you can configure one device at a time. Given the nature of manual modification, it is obviously prone to error and tasks are not easily repeatable. Future network operations with NetDevOps toolchain would allow us to apply version controls to all configuration changes and where it is the single source of truth. In this new paradigm, automated systems will perform configuration changes, carry out testing at each stage to ensure the network changes don't result in downtime, and finally push those configurations to respective devices. Now, before we proceed further, let me revisit the primary use cases for network programmability and automation. There are at least seven main use cases out there as far as I'm concerned. Device provisioning, data collection and telemetry, compliance checks, migration, reporting, troubleshooting, and configuration management. Let me explain each of those. Device provisioning is a two-step process where first step is to create the configuration file and then pushing the configuration file onto the device. Now, in order to build configurations, you are going to need a data file and a template file with variables inside. In my blog post, I will be using YAML format for data and Jinja for templates. Traditionally, data collection is done using SNMP, which is more or less vendor agnostic and has served us well over the past 29 or 30 years. However, it is totally inefficient to pull Udo's amount of data each time you pull a device or an interface only on, a, on a router, for example, or a switch, only to use a small portion of it in the end. Using automation with Python, you can either use a vendor provided or a third party library such as NetMiko to collect output from a show CLI and parse it to extract out exactly what you need to know. Monitoring is highly efficient and pretty straightforward with network automation. You can also use network automation tools to audit a given network. Let's say if you want to collect host names, IP addresses, platform, and, and serial numbers, all right? It could literally take days, if not weeks, if you were to perform this task manually with, 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 with automation. With automation, obviously, it can be done in a matter of minutes with 100% accuracy. Now, compliance can take on many different forms. However, a simple use case for compliance would be to ensure that your network changes are in accordance with the established security standards that are relevant for your business, all right? Migration can also take on many different forms, but let's say you want to migrate from Juniper to a Cisco router, right, Cisco device. Now, automation can really come handy in this case since you can separate out the configuration, the data, which is obviously vendor agnostic, from the configuration format or layout, which is obviously vendor specific. What do I mean by that? If you have ever configured Juniper and Cisco routers or switches, you know that the two configurations are worlds apart, all right, in terms of the format, right? Reporting is a lot more streamlined once you have embraced automation to create and deploy your network configurations. Now, gathering data is, is preconditioned to just about every kind of troubleshooting that's out there. With automation, you have pretty much real-time access to network devices, which makes troubleshooting a whole lot easier. Another example of troubleshooting that can really use automation is routing protocol. Routing protocol related issues such as neighbor adjacencies. As an example, you can pull neighbor adjacency status and then parse all the other relevant show CLIs until you narrow it, the, the issue down to a known problem, all right? Configuration management, on the other hand, is nothing but the actual deployment and management of configuration files to networking devices. Let's say if Cisco were to publish a PSERT which requires pushing an echo on hundreds or thousands of routers and switches, all right? That would be one example for use case. With automation, you can deploy an echo to block the malicious traffic as described in Cisco vulnerability notice. Another example could be to add an eBGP neighbor each time you add a new customer or a business partner. I think that will do it for today. Now, last but not least, I invite you to come and join me on Full Stack Networker blog. I'll soon be discussing NetDevOps toolchain and pipeline stages in more detail. I wish you best of luck. Thanks.